Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have discussed about uh, different commands in SQL, that is a data definition language commands, data manipulation language commands, right? So we have taken only one table and we have seen all these commands, how these commands will be executed. Now we'll see some more queries by executing multiple tables. That means we have discussed about the join operation, right? So natural join. So we'll see the queries related to multiple tables. So how we can get the data from multiple tables by using this join operation. And also in the previous session we have seen in order to relate two different relations, we have to use a concept called a foreign key. So an attribute which is the primary key of one table will be acting as a foreign key in another table. So we'll see those type of queries, right? So how we can relate one table with another table by creating the foreign key and we, how we can get the details from the multiple tables, right? So for this, I, I would like to take an example of sailors, sailors table, boat table, reserves table. So usually, uh, most of the examples you will be seeing these tables right so we'll also see the queries related to these tables sailors table boat table reserve table so the concept here is the sailors will reserve a boat right a sailors will reserve a boat so that concept is represented in three different tables three different tables so in this sailors table what are the attributes what are the attributes so one is a sailor ID, sailor ID, next sailor name, sailor name, next what is the rating, rating given for this particular sailor and the age, age of the sailor. So these are the attributes we, we are going to take for this sailors, right. So we will create the tables and we, we have to insert some values to the tables and then we will find out the queries. And coming to the boat table. The boat ID is one attribute, boat name and color, color, color of the boat, okay. And reserves table, coming to the reserves table, so we, we have to relate these things. So we will have SID, boat ID and the next one is reserve date. Reserved day. So the day which we have reserved, the sailor reserved that particular boat. Right. So here we can say SID and BID. Both are a primary key. Here in this reserves one, SID and BID both comes under the primary key. So here it is a primary key and here it is a primary key. And in this reserves table, we are going to take SID and boat ID as a primary key as well as these are the foreign keys these are the foreign keys so just now we have discussed what is a foreign key so the foreign key is an attribute which is a primary key in another attribute so here you can see primary key sid is a primary key of silence and bid is a primary key of boat so these two attributes will come under foreign key in this reserves reserves right so this is a concept and uh, in, in our further sessions, we are going to discuss about the queries related to these tables. So in this session, I would like to use the two commands. One is create and insert, create and insert. So in this session, let us create the tables, silence with the given attributes, board with the given attributes and reserves with the given attributes, making the constraints a primary key and a foreign key. After that, will insert a few rows in sailors, boats and reserves. So in the next session, we'll discuss about a few queries related to this one, right? So let's move on to the MySQL so that let us create uh, the table for all these three things and also we'll insert some data for all these three tables. So let's move on to the MySQL. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the tables and the attributes that we are supposed to create. So first let us create and then we'll insert the data. 
So I am entering into the MySQL command line interface. So I will go with the CLS. So we have already created one database called a YouTube. So we are we just enter into this YouTube. And now we are supposed to create a table in this particular database. The first table is a Silas. So the syntax is create table table name Silas. So and here we need to give the attributes. First one is a SID which is of an integer comma. The second one is a S name which is of a var care with a 30 characters comma and the rating. So rating will also be taken as an integer comma and age age can also be taken as an integer right and primary key we have to set the primary key the primary key will be sid so you can observe query okay zero rows affected that means the silas table has been created so you can observe here show tables so in that there is a silas table now let us create a boards table so create table table name table name is boat boats the first attribute is boat id which is of uh, integer comma boat name which is of uh, var care with the 20 characters and the third one color with a uh, data type var care this is also we can take it 20 so these three and here we can consider the primary key as boat id boat id right so the table boats is also being created so you can see show tables boats right now we have to create a reserves table where the foreign key will be the sid and bid so create table reserves reserves the first one s id of uh, integer oh, sorry comma b id of uh, integer comma day reserve day right as uh, date data type then primary key is a SID comma BID so both will be considered as a primary key next foreign key the foreign key of SID which is a references to sailors of SID. So SID is a primary key of sailors table. So we have to write like this comma again foreign key of boat ID which references which references boats of boat ID. So just execute this one. So zero is affected. So you can observe show tables. Now we are having the three tables boats, reserves and sailors boats reserves and sailors now we are supposed to take insert the values we are supposed to insert the values so first let us insert the values into sailors so uh, the command insert so let us clear the screen system cls right so insert into sailors values so give the values 101 is a sailor id let us take some sandeep as a sailor name and the rating as a 9 and age is some 25 comma go with the second attribute i mean second values 102 with the saradi rating with the 10 and age with a 27 next third one 103 name is rajesh and 6 rating with a 26 
age and go to the 104 Ramu sorry here it is a where care so we have to place in the quotations Ramu and here it is some 8 and 25 comma 105 some Hari and some 6 with a 28 106 with Shiva and with a 10 and with the age 30 right so let us execute this one oh. okay so let us once again take it this one into sailors values 101 Sandeep 9 and 25 yes values 102 Saradi with a 10 and 27 so I have closed one more parenthesis here so that's why we got an error so uh, I'm sorry for the delay so I'll make it fast so Rajesh and uh, 6 with a 26 age 104 with uh, Ramu and uh, 8 and uh, 25 comma 105 uh, with Hari and 6 comma 28 so let us stop here so queries right now you can observe select star from sailors so we got some five tables that means a five sailors name now let us go with the boats insert the value for boats right so insert into table name values so give the name boat id that's a one and boat name boat one and the color green comma go to the second one boat two boat two and the color red next third one third boat with a boat three and color blue so here we have taken the color is also as a where care so we are supposed to give in quotations so boat 4 with the color black right so 4 was executed so you can select a star from boats so we got some green the four four rows right now we'll insert the data into reserves table so insert into table name reserves values so give the sailors id reserves of first boat on the date 2022 so we need to give the four digit uh, year with a two digit month and a two digit day so let us execute this one see you can observe here query okay one row affected yes so let us insert one more thing so into reserves values 102 sorry 102 and make sure that this boat IDs and sailor uh, so sailor IDs should be available in boat table and sailor table because we are referencing the boat ID and uh, sailor's ID as a foreign key right so if you are trying to give the sailor's ID or a boat ID which is not available in those tables automatically will get the error right let me show you that one so we have created only 101 to 105 so I am trying to give 106 as a sailor ID which is not available in sailor's table right so here I will give some reserves that second boat 2022 uh, 1 and uh, 10 or uh, 1 right so if you execute we will get a error cannot add or update a child row a foreign key constant fails because 
this 106 is, is not available in the sailor's ID and here 106 is the uh, uh, foreign key right which referencing the sailor's ID from the sailor's table so in the sailor's table we are not having this 106 so that's why we got an error otherwise see so we need to give the values which are available in sailor's ID and boat ID so 102 and reserves the first boat on the date 2022 some 02 and 12 right i am giving some random dates so one one more uh, value has been inserted row has been inserted 103 and uh, give the fourth boat and give the 2022 and 7 and 11 so one more uh, row has been inserted so 104 reserves the third boat and on the date 2021 02 so randomly i am giving the dates so once again i will give the fifth insertion so 105 and uh, let us take it as a two second boat second boat with a 2022 04 and 25 so this will only be accepted so you, because because so we have given the uh, id right uh, this one uh, sailor's id and the boat id as a primary keys so let us try to insert one more uh, row uh, reserves values let us take 105 with a one first boat and uh, 2022 09 10 so yes so 105 reserves second boat as well as first boat similarly we will insert one more table i mean one more row insert into reserves values 103 reserves so previously it was reserves fourth one so now it reserves the second table second boat on the date 2021 8 and uh, 20 yes so we have inserted the rows in all the three tables now you can observe here so select star from reserves see this is the information reserved the sailors and boat ids reserved dates and this is the sailors information and uh, this is the boats information sailors information and boats information right so in today's session we have successfully created the three tables with the different attributes and with the primary key and foreign key now in the next session we will discuss about a few queries which relate one table with another table because we have created the tables with the primary key and foreign key right so in the previous sessions we have created only one table so we have not uh, executed the queries related to the foreign key right only one table we have seen and from that table we have executed the queries now we have created the three tables and we are supposed to execute the queries which gives the data from all the three tables right so let's stop here so hope you understood the once again the reputation of uh, creating a table and insertion of rows but here we have given a foreign key and the prime key, key primary key constraints right so let's stop here and in the next session we'll see the some more queries related to this sailors boats and reserves table so if, if, uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much